Well, watch you guys, how's it going? If I do look like a human tomato today, it's because on my previous trip, which was a blank, I decided to fish the back end of, of this particular lake for the tench and made a schoolboy error. I forgot my hat. So, ended up getting blasted by the sun for around about five hours. And that's why I now look like a beef tomato. So today's episode is being presented <laughs> by a human tomato, or tomato if you're from America. Uh, <laughs> yeah, real bad schoolboy error, and to be honest, I look a right prime chump because of it. Um, anyway, I am back out fishing for tench. I decided after my last trip, which was a blank, there was a few fish showing around that sect sector of the lake. Um, saw around about three or four fish roll at different intervals and different lengths from the bank. And I had absolutely nothing. Uh, a few little taps, a few little bleeps, but not a single fish materialised. So I decided to come back round back to the other section where I had that 6-8 male tench on the first trip. Decided to take off the black cap feeder and heli rig and just keep the same short hook length and go on a low resistance running rig but carry on with fishing maggots but use uh, PVA mesh bags or mesh sticks with maggots in. So keeping a short hook link so it keeps the mesh bag when it melts with the maggots close to the actual hook bait as well. So keep the fish guessing as they mooch about and hopefully pick up my uh, hook bait inside the free offerings. Um, that's the only change that I've made. The other rod's still going to be going out on worm with a low resistance running rig, but both rods are out on low resistance running rigs. And the only change of tactics is changing from the helicopter rig to a short hook link running rig. So yeah. Very nice day. Uh, we did have a little bit of showers this morning. Uh, humidity was quite nice, but it has burnt off the cloud now. It's looking like it's going to get pretty blue and pretty hot again. But this time, thankfully, I've not forgot my blooming hat. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to start by putting a few balls of ground bait in and get the rods out, and I'll catch you guys quite soon.
Well, there we go, black as you like, or oh, pretty olive green. Six pound nine ounces female. And that was a double take, absolutely fabulous. This one was taken on the maggot with the running rig, short hook link, PVA mesh with a lot of maggots in it. Yeah, and the other one's a male. The male's six pound four. <laughs> pretty damn happy when it comes right on a tricky water. And the wind's also blowing in to this bay, it does help. But yeah, when it comes right, absolutely thrilling. How about that? Look at that paintbrush towel. Tell you what, if you wanted to do your living room, it'd only take a few licks with that, wouldn't it, to paint a wall too. But yeah, wonderful. Lovely, lovely looking tinker. And it's scale perfect, I tell you. Absolutely scale perfect. Happy as a sandboy. Really, really frilly. Moments like this is what you live for as an angler. But yeah, let's get this corker back to its weedy home. Yes! There we go, and that's the male, six pound four. Lovely, dark looking fish. Got solid proof that it's a male. Got quite a noticeable chunk missing out of its anal fin. But yeah, very nice, beautiful. Really happy with this, happy as Larry. Look at that lovely dark olive green. And got a kind of battering ram head to him, hasn't he? Really beautiful, well, look at that dark tones, really nice. And this one was just taking on the lobworm with a low resistance quick change running wedge set up. And um, a nice helping of that ground bait that you've seen on my previous video, that's the Vitalin, uh, liquidized Vitalin bran, molasses, maggots and lots of bird seed, helping of um, sweet corn as well. But yeah, very, very happy. Pretty damn made up. Well, Mr. Tomato is a sunburnt but very happy tomato. There's two quick fire tench and just got one in the net when the other rod fired off, absolutely ripped off. Absolutely, I couldn't be happier to be honest. Really, really wonderful. Anyway, just show you what I'm using on one of the rods. I decided to stop using a black cap um, cams and feeder and just switch to a running measure and using PVA mesh and just popping the maggots in as a stick mix and doubling the mesh over so it slows the dissolving time down and that's just going out with the hook link clipped into it and the rear of this stick mix clipped onto the low resistance run ring so it all melts down right next to the bait on a short hook link. The um, PVA that I'm using is this one now this is Piranha PVA now I am associated with them but I wouldn't ram it down your throat or advertise, you know, if it wasn't cheap and cheerful either. As I say, it's Piranha PVA. Melts great. Um, some PVAs don't melt very well. Some actually leave more of a residue. Uh, some leave a lot to be desired. But the main thing also with Piranha um, is, is the price is uh, Fox for 10 meters for just a refill. Uh, a real of, um, PVA refill will set you back 10 pounds. Now uh, with Piranha you can get 20 metres, including the tubes and the plunger, for £9.98. I mean you can't say fairer than that, and that's wide mesh as well. And it's just a very good price, especially when PVA costs so much. I don't really understand how some of the other tackle manufacturers charge so much. It, it makes no sense at all. Um, but yeah, as I say, I am associated with them, and they do supply me with the PVA, but they are very, very well priced chaps. If you go onto their website, if you search uh, pvaproducts.co.uk, you'll find their website and they sell PVA mesh in wide, narrow, PVA string, PVA tape, and various other tools and items as well related to bait use, even t-shirts and customized t-shirts. 
So yeah, it's well worth checking them out. And as I say, although I am associated with them, they are very, very good quality and I would use them if I wasn't associated with them because they are very cheap and very cheerful. As I say, you get 20 metres, including which is four lots of five metres, uh, with a plunger for around about £9.98. Now, just half of that, 10 metres, with a refill with some of the manufacturers would set you back a tenner. So yeah, well worth checking them out anyway. Well, whilst it's having a little lull, like it might be the only two fish of the trip, not that I'm moaning, <laughs> far from it, I thought I'd just show you my ground bait mix again, because just for any of you that didn't watch the previous video. There it is. And that's a mixture of liquidised vitamin, so it's made a lot finer, makes it easier to soak up and ball up. Bran, molasses, good helping in molasses, liquid molasses, really makes it nice and sweet, sugary and treacly, turns it nice and brown as well along with the brown. Uh, in with that, heavy helping in my favourite which is my bird seed and a nice bit of maggots, casters and a light helping of sweet corn in there as well. You know, good mixtures to keep the fish mooching about, keep them guessing and that can be balled up. If you mix it very firmly you can literally shoot that out, as I said on the last video, you can shoot it out. 70 to 80 meters, no problem with a strong cap. That's what they've been picking up today. Just been using it, it a little bit more heavier baiting than last time. And with the predominant wind blowing into this bay, they really you know, have come along and had a good feed and picked up that male and that female. So yeah, that's the same ground bait mix that I showed you last time. And so that's just maize, liquidized vitamin, bran, molasses, bird seed, maggots and castor. It's nice and simple, you can make it a loose mix, you can make it a more firm mix for balling up and shooting out at range. And it's nice and cheap and simple. Vitalin is very cheap. Molasses is very cheap. You get a five litre bottle for around about six pounds. So yeah, works very well, works like a charm. And it's a, a nice sweet smelling mixture. Leaks off a nice sugary, almost treacly with the molasses scent trout. But yeah kind of hoping that I'll get another fish or two. That would be just cap off a, what's already been a very enjoyable trip on a tricky water. right there, he's come up, pulpous rolled, went back down. I'll tell you what, they're wonderfully enigmatic cheeky blighters. They really are. Gotta love them. Wonderful species in my opinion. Absolutely wonderful. Well, all packed up, just my chair and a few bits and bobs to pack away in the rucksack. It's been thoroughly enjoyable and nice to get two tench, especially one straight after I landed the other one. Uh, the way the rod tore off, I was, it's quite nice to pick them both up, a nice male and female, lovely condition. Beautiful olive green, very dark green on the male tench. Very, very, very pretty fish. Um, I think I might head back here on another trip or maybe try a few more swims. I know on my last trip I did blank trying a few of the other spots but if you do not speculate you can't really understand 
the areas that you're fishing or chance for arm new spots and accumulate uh, new new plans and also formulate ideas of picking up maybe better fish in different spots and understanding the lake. Um, I know on my last trip though it was a solid blank and um, left me red as a, a beetroot uh, with the um, sunburn because I forgot my hat but yeah it's always a little bit of a kind of sulky moment to pack up I'm like any angler, you know, can I have five minutes more, another five minutes more, another ten minutes and twenty minutes if I can. But yeah, anyway, hope you have enjoyed the video. And if you have uh, enjoyed the video, do take the time to consider clicking the thumbs up and giving it a like. That would be really gratefully appreciated. And if you're not subscribed to my videos, can I just say, what are you doing? click the subscribe button and that would be great and you'll be kept up to date with all my latest videos and the back catalogue of the older videos. Well that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it as I say and until my next video guys, tight lines and take care. Goodbye.